Hey everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play here at Gambit Digital. More like a Let's Try here. Uh, doing something a little bit older uh, that a lot of you may not know. This is the Palace of Deceit, a Dragon's Plight. Uh, and this one right here, Gold Edition version 2.1. This is a very, very old game for many of you here. It came out in 1992 uh, for Windows 3.1. Uh, it was produced by Game Syndicate, and if you look down at the bottom where the green letters are, uh, you might remember a name, or be familiar with a name down there, by the name of Cliff Blazinski. That's right. Uh, Cliff is the guy at Epic Mega Games, or Epic Games now, who went on to create uh, the Gears of War series that was very, very, very popular. Now, this is one of his earlier titles here. Uh, 1992. I don't. I think this is well before uh, Epic Mega Games and Jazz Jackrabbit. So this is kind of one of his his early games, and a game that I kind of grew up with. One of the first ones that I grew up with. It is a point and click adventure game. Uh, in the well, exactly what it, it means. You really only point and click. There's there's very little in the way of anything else, um, because we lived in the Stone Ages. Uh, so if we click about, 1992 tells us basically the um, same thing at the bottom. Please don't pirate this game, guys. We're in here. Uh, okay. Uh, and your only option is new game or quit. No options. No other menus and stuff. So let's get started. There is no uh, music in this version. I don't believe there was in the original. Uh, I'm trying to think back. And very little in the way of sound. So when we start this new game up, I'm going to lay down a track. Uh, so you guys aren't bored just listening to my annoying voice. So let's get started with New Game and see if I remember how to play. Okay, this is the entire game screen. And this is what you're going to see the entire time. Palace of Deceit 2.1, The Dragon's Plight. You are a dragon, and you're a good guy, and you are stuck. And you need to get out and save the world. Um, so here on the left-hand side, we kind of see our inventory screen. We don't have anything in the inventory. Uh, another about, as we've already seen at the beginning. A range coming soon. Dare to dream. A study in the imagination of a ten-year-old boy. This looks like early DeviantArt stuff, and it's kind of scary. Okay. I didn't play that. I don't know about that one. Uh, save game, restore game, exit. All your basics. Uh, here... This is where all the action happens. It is all being told through this book right here. And below is your status box, just like any adventure game. Uh, so instead of typing anything in like older games, you just click uh, and it shows everything. So if I click the help section here. Uh, it kind of tells everything you need to know. Your pointer for directions. Uh, if you hover action, uh, an action arrow, if you hover over something special and an interact um, action as well and some general playing advice so this was a very very weird game um, but this help screen really made playing it a breeze especially if you didn't have a manual if you just had a, a disc or a copy disc or a pirated disc I guess since those were the thing back then so let's get started I do remember a little bit of this um, we'll see how far we can get going so if you click on the book the status box gives you information on your surroundings and also sometimes gives you hints um, about what you can do. So you are in a deep cell within the castle. The faint sounds of water dripping come from above. You've been here for several days now, eating rats and mice. Remember that, we've been eating rats and mice. Um, so okay, so there's nothing here, so we get an exit arrow if we scroll the mouse over to the right, uh, to the east corner of the cell. So we'll double click, and then let's get the status. We are, you are in the east corner of the cell where your bed is along with some food. You have to get out of here. Okay. So there's some bones. There's my bedding. Um, and if you look, there isn't any contact sensitive stuff like that highlights, but see this little crack right here? The arrow changed to an action button. We can open this up. You touch the stone and it opens the door to the north. Okay, let's get out. You were in a hall outside of your cell. Evidently, Garth only has one cell used for special prisoners. The hall continues north. Your cell is to the west, 
and a room is to the east. So we have an exit here. We got a wall, a gate, and some buttons. This is the east corner of the hall. Before you stands a small porticlis, barring any further travel north. Above it, on either side of the wall, are two vents, probably for air. Four buttons are on each side of the gate. Okay, so we have our first puzzle, but we don't have any information on these buttons. Uh, and with adventure games of any kind, you don't want to go and push things uh, because things will lead to your death quite easily. But if we go back and we exit down here, it's going to take us to the end of the hall. And it looks like we have some words here. If we click it. The ancient script is hard to decipher. It says something like, To the next unfortunate one, red means death, green does too, yellow drains life, but leave one the blue. And that's a little skeleton down here that we can't do anything with. Pretty sure we can't. Okay, so that gave us our first uh, hint to this puzzle. Red and green are going to kill you. Yellow is going to drain some life. But blue is going to be okay. You press the blue button and the gate rises silently, revealing a stairway above. Let's go. You are in the mines below the castle. Shimmering crystals are everywhere creating a gorgeous scene. Three exits are to the north. So we got one, two, and three. So, uh, let's see, let's go up the middle one. This round room seems almost out of place here in the mine. It's kept clean and well lit, as there's a torch on the wall. Exits are north and south. So that gives us our direction, so let's keep going. And we are here. This is the control room of the mine. Four levers and four buttons line the north wall, each of a different color. A door is on the east wall. There's the door, there's the buttons. Let's see if we can try to click one. It's not a good idea to push strange buttons. You leave the button alone. So it's not letting us uh, click anything. So it's kind of giving us a little break here so we don't do something stupid. But these two on the right and the left are our directions that we need to go so these crystals are a little darker yet just as gorgeous as the ones in the main mine the mine continues north and south so let's go north another colorful room this is the northeast mine the walls ceiling and floor are layered with vibrant red crystals that seem to have a life of their own a door is in the west wall and the mine goes south so we can click this little sign and it says the sign is worn out and difficult to read it says something like rid oot so that's a clue okay so if you put that together that says bridge out so to the red crystal mines the sprawling void before you seems to go on forever a rickety bridge spans most of it to the north the mine is to the south Okay, so we are going to heed the warning of that sign. Uh, that means the bridge is out, so we're not going to go through there. Okay, so that's kind of a dead end. Let's go back. And let's try door number three and see what's behind it. This grungy area is surprising to see compared to the other polished areas of the mine. Coal dust covers everything. Exits are to the south and east. Okay, so let's continue on our adventure. This is the dirtiest room you've been in yet, even worse than your former cell. Absolutely, everything is covered with grime and tar. A hole is to the north, and a passage goes west. Okay, so let's keep going. Another room here. Other than the sparkling diamonds here, the cavern is covered with soot and powder. A strange breeze comes from the east, as well as the north. A passage goes south. So we can keep going. What do we have here? Icy air blows at you from the void before you. The bridge looks rickety. The diamond mines are to the south. So we don't want to mess with bridges, and we don't want to go into the void. So we'll skip this, uh, because that will kill you. And I know from experience. Okay, so let's back out. Take us... To the main room. Okay, so we know we have to figure out something with those buttons and levers. 
I do remember this as a kid, so I know where to go. I can use this as a walkthrough. I don't even know if anyone's ever played this game before on here. Uh, there is a button somewhere in this room, so we have to look for something that maybe looks a little out of place, because it's not going to give us any real clues on that, and we can't hit tab like a flash game on Newgrounds. Okay, so there we go. This stone sinks too, opening another door to the north. Strange sounds come from the opening. Let's take a look. And we have a happy little mouse here. Can we click on him? Oh, we can talk to him. So let's talk to him. The brown mouse looks passive enough to talk to. Hi, I'm Nightshade. I was imprisoned in the lower level. What area of the castle is this? Why? You're in the crystal mines, of course. My name is Mard, of the brown rodents. I'm one of Garth's slaves. He's been very happy to say that. What does Garth do with the crystals? He heats Castle Lockmuir. I don't know if that's right. Uh, otherwise known as the Palace of Deceit, because all of the puzzles in it. Well, how do I get out of here alive, buddy? Good question. Let me see. I think you need to pull one of the green, um, was it lever or button? Can't seem to recall. My brother Darm is in the other half of the mines. He'll know. Goodbye. So you guys know how to get out of here, but you don't. Let's talk to him again, because these adventure games, you can talk to people a bunch of times. Hi, Mard. How's the mining business? Difficult and boring. Don't let Garth make you work. No, Garth doesn't seem to be that mean to you. He's just making you work. Nice hard hat. Thanks. Belonged to my Uncle Fred. What happens if I push the wrong button? Doomsday for the Blue Dragon. Be careful. Uh, and I am a blue dragon. That was always weird to me as a little kid for a little while, not understanding who I was as a character. Okay, so we have to find his brother, which is on the other side of the mine. So he is in the third one. He is somewhere here. I believe he's in the second room as well. Okay. Now, I don't remember if you can get to Darm first, or if the context-sensitive button kind of pops up after you talk to... Mard is somewhere, somewhere over here, I want to say, don't remember exactly, might be, it might be in the room uh, before, a hole to the north, yeah, 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 okay, it might be, it might be here, I'm in the sparkling diamonds, a strange breeze comes from the east as well as the north. Okay. Breeze is coming through the east. That must tell me something that there is a passage uh, somewhere oh, from the east because air is coming in. See, so that status box kind of gives you some hints. Uh, okay. Hit that button and a passage opens up in the east wall. So we got another mouse that we've been surviving on in our cell. Rat looks friendly. Hi, I'm Nightshade of the Land of Dragons. Who are you? Name's Darm of the White Rodents. I'm a slave like my brother Mard who mines the other half of the area. How do I get out of here? Well, Strange Blue Dragon, you need to pull the right lever in the control room. I won't tell you what color, but my brother might. I don't want Garth to think I'm helping you, even though clearly you're helping me right now. Can you tell me about Garth? He's one evil entity. He wants to kill all dragons because they're good now. Doesn't make sense to me. Guess he's just evil. Good luck trying to find and kill him. Well, I've got to go. Let's talk to him again, see what he says. How's the mine going? It's a living. Where's the control room? It's in the center of the mine, north from the central room. Depends if I pull the wrong level lever. If I pull the wrong level, there's probably a trap. Be careful. Good bye. Okay, so we have everything we need to get out of this second area. Nothing super hard yet, so uh, green and the green lever. You pull the lever, half expecting something horrible to happen, and the force field blocking the exit wanes away, revealing stairs leading up. So let's head on up. Okay, this is the winery of the storage area of the castle. A torch illuminates the room, and the large wine rack is on the left side of the room. The stairway behind you is gone. 
so we can't go anywhere else. Now, the game starts opening up a little bit here. We have two exits here. Let's go through the main door. See if I can remember where we're going. This is the brewery of the castle. The stench of various lagers, ales, and beers permeates the room. Three large kegs sit on the north wall. Passages go west, east, and south. Okay, so let's head over here to the right. What do we got here? This is the grain storage area. An enormous pile of seed bags fills the center of the room. Light comes from the torch on the west wall. The room continues west and south. Okay, so let's keep going. This is the central storage area. Many crates of every shape and size are stacked throughout the room. A torch provides light on the north wall. The room continues west, east, and north. So let's keep going. You are in the east wing of the castle's storage area. Two large boxes sit on the floor before you, and a torch behind them casts a harsh shadow on the flow. Not the floor, but the flow. I do remember that. The only exit is west. Okay, so I do remember the puzzle in here. It's not a hard puzzle, but it's in the status box. Um, it tells us about the torch itself casting a harsh shadow, so it's very descriptive. So if I go below it, we can kind of see there's a clickable box. Looking behind this box reveals a switch that opens a door in the west wall. This is different. The clay tunnel almost looks like a huge beast's throat. A small branch hangs above the north wall. The only exit is south. Small branch. Don't try to do anything. That won't do anything. So we can't grab it because that's our action uh, command. Okay, so we have to back out. We have to go back. So we need something that can get us that branch. Let's go through north. That takes us back to the storage area. Takes us back to the ale, but we can also continue left. We're in a new room. Where are we at? This is the seafood storage area of the castle. Various shapes and sizes of fish hang from the ceiling, as well as a lobster in the center of the room. A fish net is on the left wall. Exits are north and east. So, got a bunch of fish, got some clams, a net. And we have a lobster here that kind of sticks out in the middle, hanging by his arms. We can talk to him. Uh, and his name is Lobster. Hey, I'm Nightshade. I was a prisoner in the dungeon. Who are you? Nice to oops, nice to meet you, Nutmeg. I'm Zion from the East Sea. Why are you hanging here? Garth put me here until he was in the mood for Lobster, I guess. Which is all the more reason someone's got to kill him. Maybe even you, Nightmaid. The lobster here is a funny guy. Where can I find the sword? That kind of just comes out of nowhere. The sword? I'm not quite sure. Although you'll probably need it. Tell you what I do know. Hair braid. There's a hidden switch in the wine cellar to the north. Bye. Okay, so we know there's a uh, wine cellar with a switch. Let's talk to him again. You do know my name's Nightshade. I did say that, didn't I? Of course, Lampshade, whatever you say. Whatever you say, George. Hey, my name's Zion, pronounced Zion. Can you say that? Jeesh, are you deaf, Garden Spade? Sigh, I can't get out of the storage area. Have you met Budo yet? He's a snail who lives around here. He might be able to help you out, Ninja Blade. See you later, Lobster Man. Okay, so we can go north. Uh, and this, where are we? Oops. This is the second winery in the castle. Two wine racks are separated on the north wall by a wooden board. The only exit is to the south. Well, talking to uh, a lobster comedian, we know that there is a way in. And there's a button somewhere in the wall on one of these wine racks. One of these wine bottles. Various shapes and sizes. Oh, there we go. So it's this empty one here at the bottom. You flick the hidden switch and a door appears in the north wall where the wood used to be. Let's exit. The hall is incredibly narrow. You have trouble fitting through being so large. An empty torch brace is on the west wall. The torch on the wall is loose, so you pull it off and hang on to it. Let's keep going. 
Where are we? This is the stairwell leading up to the next floor. Looks like Garth rolled out the red carpeting for you. Exits are north and south. The wraith howls and shrieks, sending chills down your spine. Okay, so there's nothing we can do, but let's see. Let's equip this. That won't do any good. Okay, so we can't burn this wraith, uh, so we got to get out of here. So, what we need is the sword that our little friend talked about. But, I haven't seen the Budo, the our snail friend yet. But we did get a torch, so let's go back to the last puzzle, which had that weird branch. So now that we have the torch equipped down here, we can go up here. You light the root with the torch, and it reveals a door in the north wall that was previously hidden in shadow. Well, let's keep going. Oh, we got our snail friend, so let's talk to him. Large purple snail. Hey, I'm Nightshade of the Land of the land dragons who are you the land of dragons of the land dragon guess there's land dragon and the sky dragon i'm budo a snail anything else these guys are mean down here how do i get out of the storage area there's a switch hidden in the wine rack in the first storage room you probably saw is that all what exactly does the sword do it kills garth or at least that's what it used to do might as well give it a try goodbye these guys twice. Hi, Budo. What's new? Nothing, as usual. Why haven't you found the sword? I told you. Go to the first room of the storage area and search the wine rack. Hop to it. Any ideas for killing Garth? Use the sword. Remember, when Garth dies, his home dies. Don't worry about the good creatures here, though. We'll survive. Okay. What exactly does the sword do? You just told us. It kills Garth. All right. Okay, so... Exit... Oh, what is it? Let's see what this uh, this place says. This is an ancient alcove has been hidden well away from the rest of the castle. Hole on the north wall resembling a laundry chute provides air and light for the large violet snail sitting in the center of the room. I don't know where he gets his food from, but that's okay. Okay, so we need to go back to room number one, or wine rack. Number one. Okay, so here we are. So now there is a button again somewhere in this wine rack probably going to be at the bottom again I don't remember exactly where it is ok here we go uh, so there's a crack in the if you see this red there's a break looking in this part of the wine rack reveals a hidden switch it opens a trap door let's go look at that this is the room or this room must be somewhere between the mines and the storage area in the center of the room is a large obsidian stone. In the stone rests a sword. Upon seeing it, you realize it is the sword used to kill Garth last time. Not sure how you remember that, but let's grab that sword. The sword comes out of the stone with ease. You raise it in the air, and far away, you hear a shriek of anger. Probably a bad guy. Okay, so now that we have the sword, we can make our way that uh, wraith okay so let's equip the sword this is the legendary sword everyone's spoken of holding it in your claw sends a rush of power and feeling throughout your body okay uh, so I believe we just double click you triumphantly swing the sword at the wraith and just before it makes contact the apparition vanishes howling in fear so this, this is an action-packed game, my friends. But these point-and-click adventure games, I don't know. There's something about them that just... It's just really cool. So let's get out of here. Intermission. Meanwhile... While Nightshade continues his journey, other events occur. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like he's escaped, and his little animal has the sword. My lord, I tried to stop him, but he had found it. Perhaps you should send... Arcanide to deal with him. The sword does not harm him. True. I shall also send my champion after him. Warrior, come forth. Yes, my lord. Looks like an orc. Green orc. Stop the dragon. Do whatever it takes. Go. He will not make it any further. Will Nightshade be stopped? Will Garth end up killing all the dragon? How will Nightshade kill Arcanide? Those answers and more coming up right here. 
Okay, so that's the Palace of Deceit, uh, a Dragon's Plight. That's the first uh, part of the game. Looks like it's broken up like that, like kind of a television series to keep going. So I am actually going to save the game. Yes. Um, and if you like this video, if you want to see some more of this uh, adventure, it's kind of cool. It's really fun. I know I'm going to be playing it regardless. Uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you next time for more. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Enjoyed the video? Feel free to look at our other videos to your left. Want to support? Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Want more? Give us a like and subscribe to Gambit Digital.